It Steals, one of the scariest games I've played in recent time. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, your eyes did not deceive you. I didn't speed up the gameplay or do some editing tricks. This is actually how fast the monster is. And I'll have to beat it if I want to get all the achievements this game has to offer. With the achievements ranging from beating the game all the way to beating a specific game mode with your game audio turned off. Let me give a brief explanation of Estios if you've never heard of it. This is essentially Pac-Man if you played it after smoking bath salts. There's one insanely fast monster named Legs that chases you. while you have to run through a decrepit maze to avoid it in various ways depending on which of the five game modes you're playing. Classic, which is just Pac-Man, but you have to shine your light at legs to scare him away. Shutter, which you have a limited amount of batteries to flash legs away before he gets you. But the map is basically pitch black, so you have to rely on your earballs to save you. Hide and seek, which is pretty self-explanatory. Living halls, which I, I don't know, this this game mode wasn't really enjoyable. You kind of just hope for the best while there's monsters that look like the walls and they try to ambush you. And lastly, Phantom. In the Phantom, both you and the monster are John Cena. Get it? Because you guys can't see each other? You have to constantly look around and listen out for moving furniture as that is the only way to locate the Phantom. If the Phantom passes through you, you have to hold your breath. In total, it steals offers 11 achievements, the majority of which are pretty basic, having you beat the five game modes that I explained. The achievements that I want to focus on today are the star level achievements and the two gimmick achievements. Let's start off with the star levels, which are harder versions of the classic mode, shutter mode, and hide and seek. The labyrinth. The labyrinth is a harder version of classic mode, which consists of the player running around the maze to collect all the orbs. As I said, the way to avoid legs is, sh is to shine your light at him. However, every three or so times you shine your light at legs, he decides to hit you with the- Excuse me. Ah! He stares you down until you realize, this time you have to run. The more you get chased by legs, the worse the chases become. Dude, it is so dark. Oh my god, my lights, my lights off, I can't see! Please, I can't see. Oh my god. Oh my god. Your flashlight starts going out, making it almost impossible to see. And you start tripping fucking balls. I know this part of the area. Oh, I passed one. I'm like, no, I'm fucking tripping balls right now. I'm dead. How did I survive? What? Jesse, those jelly beans were laced with vent. Mr. White, this shit feels good. While being chased, the screen started tilting, so I was basically running sideways. My best course of action was to avoid being chased as much as possible and collect all the orbs as fast as I could. Overall, this achievement wasn't terrible to get, and I beat it around first try. That actually wasn't too bad. The same cannot be said for the star version of this level. Fuck this level. Shutter is shutter on crack times a trillion. This AI is smart as hell. Legs constantly tries to juke you and come from different angles you're not expecting. He constantly breaks line of sight and tries to take the tightest path to you, meaning your positioning is everything in this mode. Oh my Jesus Christ, I couldn't even see him in that darkness. He's so fast, I don't think Trout could react to him. So you constantly have to be where Legs is and ensure that you're in a decent spot with enough time to react to his speed. This gets worse when he starts the chase. After flashing him around three or four times, he starts the chase, similar to the classic game mode, but Legs is even faster. He'll catch up with you in a matter of seconds, so there's no outrunning him. Well, that's not good. Oh my god, that's good. Oh my daddy! Motherfucker is a lightning strike. Did I forget to mention that you have a limited amount of batteries? Well, yeah. If you don't constantly make enough distance from him, you'll drain your battery faster than a male porn star drains their balls. I'm about to blow. I'm about to blow. And if you flash legs with one battery charger left, you die. What? He knows that I ran out of batteries? Forcing you to constantly pick up orbs, which recharge one flash. Overall, this achievement wasn't too bad. It was honestly more terrifying than it was difficult to get. I don't know where I am. Is he chasing me? What the fuck? Yes. That's way more stressful than it should be. Cock shot. Dude, mogging. He's mogging. Another cock shot. That's how fast he is. That's how little time I have to react. Get out of my face. I'm voice cracking. 
hide and seek. There honestly isn't much to be said here. I completed this on my first try and honestly I found it easier than the normal game mode. By what I could tell, the only difference is instead of being in a maze, you're outside. In this game mode, Legs gets a tan to try to blend in with the environment. But as long as you just walk, look down, and try to look around with the corners of your screen, it usually won't trigger him to chase you. The only exception is Legs gets mad if you don't find him for a long time. He'll call you a bad seeker and chase you. If you do find Legs though, he'll say that you're it and now you have to go hide. When this happens, just run away, turn off your light and crouch, while continuously collecting as many orbs as you can. If you stay still too long, he'll know exactly where you are, and if he does find you while you're hiding, just run away and he'll eventually go back to hiding. This one was pretty easy. Once you learn the strategy in the normal mode, the star mode becomes a breeze. He's sitting on it. Pretty good. Now onto the two hard ones that I'm worried about. Now, with the star level achievements out of the way, let's move on to the gimmick achievements, which only 4.8 and 6.3% of players unlocked. Bold. This achievement requires you to beat the classic game mode without pressing W. No walking forward, only backwards. And honestly, this achievement was really easy. It was just slightly frustrating because I had to constantly resist the urge to press forward the entire time. Oh, this is annoying already. I really want to press W. And trying to traverse the, around the maze was so annoying. You might be thinking, what about the chase with legs? It, it wasn't a challenge. It was like playing tag with your two-year-old son. Uh, my, fing my middle finger keeps going right to the W key. He's going right to the W key over and over again. It really wants to press it. And I'm resisting it so hard. I hear him. I, did I press it? Oh my, I don't know if, it didn't say, it didn't say. I don't know if I got it or not. That, you do have to run. That's terrible. I just need to, I just need to guess it. Oh my God. Okay, at least it's not too fast. Oh, holy shit. That was not expected. Zeekers, at least it's not, at least he's pretty slow. I never realized how slow Legs was. You can constantly outrun Legs, which gives you plenty of time to find a path and run through. Death. This was probably the most frustrating achievement to get. This requires you to play the Phantom game mode with your in-game audio turned to zero, which is unfortunate because having audio is your best defense against the Phantom. Throughout the maze, there's furniture littered everywhere, and your only way of locating the Phantom is by listening to or seeing him moving the furniture. But obviously the listening part is, is out of the picture. And he perfectly blocked off the eggs the way I need to go. Now, this challenge seems incredibly difficult. That is, unless you read the tip the achievement gives you listen to a funny song. And that's exactly what I did. And honestly, it made my experience 10 times worse. He's coming back. Fuck. I'm not hearing another. I, I'm, gonna, I'm going insane. I was struggling quite a bit until I found a trick. There's a radar that you can pull out, which shows you all the orbs within a proximity around you. While you have this out, if the phantom comes near you, the radar will force itself away, giving you just enough time to hold your breath. I didn't close my radar right there. New tech found? But there's a catch. Randomly throughout the level, the radar will break, making it so you cannot use the radar for a certain amount of time. Normally you can hear a distorted electronic sound that lets you know it's broken and unusable for a certain amount of time. But again, I don't have audio. So I kept thinking the phantom was near me until I remembered that the radar can break. Well, that's not good. Move chairs! Oh, is my radar bugged? Is that why? Or I, I don't know. I don't think it's bugged. It's like broken. Yeah, I think it was broken. I'm not going to bore you with my fails because it's very, very awkward having duck song while I'm focused on the game. But I'll show you my final attempt at, at unlocking this achievement. Oh my god. There's no fucking way. I I, I, I thought I was, I was literally about to let it go to the keyboard. Then I saw a faint blue light and I was like, maybe. There's maybe a possibility. <laughs> Woo! I have no one to celebrate with. I'll celebrate with myself. 100%. This is how I 100%ed its deals. This was honestly pretty fun to attempt. And I think I'm gonna shift my content over to a mix of 100%ing games, unlocking difficult achievements, or completing challenges that no one else wants to attempt. So oh if you want to see my sanity drain over the course of this channel, be sure to subscribe. And if there are any difficult achievements you want me to unlock or challenges you want to see me attempt, let me know in the comments. Who knows, maybe your challenge will get picked for the next video. With that being said, I'm currently working on a solo expert realism in Left 4 Dead 2, 
So if you want to see that, stick around. And thanks for watching.